Don't watch that on my wife. I know she's looking at this. Don't watch that, baby. My heart's straight. I've gone through my real nigga situation. Big up, big up, because I bought him as well in prison. Yeah. He's come out. We, we're out now and changed both our lives. Yeah, I care. Yeah. Advert. Come. Independent through me. Yeah. Pepsi through me. DJ's got that album. Kano had this one. But I never had mine. Tell me about the first time you went in the booth. The first time I went in the booth? To record. Oh, I'm gonna tell you like the truth. Tell me the I'm truth. gonna tell you like the truth, yeah. Don't be, don't be real. Me, I'm a music man. Yeah. I actually like the wavy thing. I actually like the, the thing that young ads and them man do as well. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So in my own heart, I've tried a little thing. Yeah. But it just wasn't working, you know? When you, you know when you're younger, secondary, SoundCloud, Man got my little, my benches and I was trying to support man's thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I cro- All right, cool, yeah, cool. I've had my little warm-up time now. Let me change my name. I'm actually patting up, I'm serious now. You know what, what I'm saying? What was your name back then? T. Sterling. T. Sterling? T. Sterling, yeah. yeah. Right. But I had to flip it, unknown T, because I know, you get me? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. within what's going on in my life, it made sense in it. And with what I pre with the music, mm-hmm. remember, I'm seeing the transition from like six, seven, K Chuck, Harlem Spartans. Mm. I'm seeing other youths from different areas slowly getting into the, you know what I'm saying? This yeah. is me just being real with the, what I'm seeing musically. Yeah. But then naturally, I've clocked my pocket. I'm hard at this myself behind closed doors. Yeah. So I've gone to the booth one time, but it's like, yo, I'm trying to now change man's melodic pattern and my ryth- rhythmic pattern. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So rhythmically, I was trying to do this flows thing in the booth. You know when the man's writing new bars and this and that, bro? I'm gonna like, I fainted in the booth. Yeah, okay. I was rapping so fast. One of my brothers, like Tom knows, isn't it? Like, man's in the booth, trying so hard to flows. You know when you're putting so much energy, bro? Yeah. Brother, I fainted, bro. I actually dropped, like, I fainted. Whoa. And that was actually my first, like, yo, paying for booths, going there, actually trying to do this thing. But I was going so hard, I fainted, I dropped on the floor, bro. Uh, but that, when I got up, just showed man that yo, like, shit, like, man just found man's thing, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was mad, but it was like, I laughed it off and it's like, yo, I was trying so hard to find the flows thing, yeah. but it's like, eventually I didn't want to let go because I wanted to be that flows man. Yeah, that's yeah. what I listened to. Yeah. You, JME, yeah, BBK, yeah. like, yeah, yeah. chip, like, mm. that shit there, that was man's thing, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bro, I wanted it so bad and now I'm here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I want to hear that tune. Yeah, bro. What tune? What's the name of that tune? The tune's called Obo Season. I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you separately. I'll send it to you still. Obo Season. Season. It's bare. You know, it's, the song Bear was going on. I was trying to add corner response. I was trying to add bare flow, this and that. Bro, back then, I didn't know you could just do eight bars, 12 bars, 16 bars at a time. I'm trying to do it all in one. Okay. What's the best investment you made since making music money? Best investment I've made, yeah, mm. is investing in myself. In yourself? How do you mean, though? Like, I'm independent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I used to be with a lot of people, a lot of. I used to be running around. Yeah. No, them ones. Oh, yeah. And then when I put the ball in my corner, that's when I really became the person I was supposed to be. Mm. Interesting. When I put the mm. ball in my corner, that's when I had my first ever album. Double, mm. D-double. Mm. When I put the ball in my corner, got my cousin to manage me. Mm. My cousin's my manager. Mm. He's the one that made that happen. Mm. Yeah, Ikea. Yeah. Advert, come. Independent, through me. Yeah. Pepsi, through me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about all these adverts. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I read them, I read them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything I'm doing now is me doing yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. So I'm independent. Yeah, yeah. That's the best investment move I've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm seeing fruits. Wow. And when people want to mess with me, they're really messing with, with me. You. Yeah, 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 yeah. Someone else oh, first yeah, yeah. me. Yeah, That's still, the best man. investment I've made. Mm. And now I've made other investments mm. through me investing in myself. How do you approach dating as a rapper? I'm just gonna say it straight, there's two levels of rappers, innit? Yeah. Man have the, la- the quieter level, then man have the level where, yeah, man's actually a superstar. Man's yeah. not even a rapper, man's actually a superstar. Man's yeah. an artist, 
Bro, dating, obviously, man, no. At the end of the day, man's got benefits on my table, fam, right? And nowadays, I see it in 2022, it's just about peas. What, who's got peas in a pocket that can provide to make a woman smile? But yeah. I, like, it's more than that, innit? Yeah. When I, I've come to a certain position in life where I've realized it's more than that. Yeah. Trust on the table, stability. Yeah. So man got to understand what man's thing's patterned is yeah. your thing patterned too. What are you putting on man's table right. away from peas and, and body and sexiness? You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What each put to man's table. Because nowadays, I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of idiot gal as well, fam. Yeah. Idiot gal, so a man can't just be out here just dating anyone. Yeah. But man, no, man's a different kettle of fish. You know what I'm saying? So, right. man's got to just now, yeah? A lot of this talk, talk, talk on the internet, yeah, Justin LaBoy, this and that. It's man, expect a man to this and that, this and that, this and that. Nah. No. One thing I've learned in life, yeah. Some people are just louder than others. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The ones that are shh. Man, I'm serious. Right. You know what I'm saying, bro, in all angles. When it comes to dating, me, shh, I don't do all of that loudness, all of that internet thing, all of that yeah, yeah, dead. Yeah, yeah. I need to know if you're fucking with man, you're fucking with man properly on a, on a serious level. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. man's thing's not intermediate, man's thing's serious. Yeah. So man can't have no idiot gal just rocking around man's thing. When it comes to dating, I'll be real, bro. Like, man's name holds weight. You get it? At the same time, it comes, it comes with jealousy, innit? Yeah. So man's got to be cool. careful as well. Yeah. What gal man have around man's thing? Yeah. Because it's like, it's dickhead gal out there on this slimy yeah, thing too, you know what I'm saying? So man's got to be very, very delicate. Don't watch that on my wife. I know she's looking at this. Don't watch that, baby. My heart's straight. I've gone through my real nigga situations, yeah? Yeah. Don't worry, baby. Black men don't cheat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's compare our ad libs and you tell me how yours came about. Do you mind this come about from the vibes? Mm. What about yours? Mm -hmm. Yeah. When the, like, when, when you oh, first I'm not, you know, I didn't even do it in Home and B, you know. I didn't do that in Home and B. I didn't do it in throwback. But me, I don't know, like something just in the booth, I was feeling myself in it. I don't know where, but man just done a mm -hmm. But it's like I remember everyone in the booth looking at me like <laughs> Nah, that was so, You know, uh, I clutched because it's deep, yeah. Get me from the from the voice box. Yeah, yeah I clutched like Brother, it's brother, brother, like it's all science, bro. <laughs> the, de the deepness is what gra grabs everyone's attention. Mm -hmm. Then the listen, that it just wakes the whole room up to actually open their ears and listen. listen. Before man, then I have everything I need to say. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, don't see though, one man on the tune. Give him up, up. Get him up, up. Yeah. Get him up, up. Your thing. Like, like, where did that come from as well, though, man? You're waiting for something to happen, man. Yeah. Sometimes you can wait, mm. and then it drops, then you come in. Yeah. But then sometimes you can be like, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want my team. You know? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can't just leave it. Yeah, like, yeah fam, I like, so hear that, I need, bro. Like, okay, okay, yes, yes. Like, that's all yeah, that. Yeah, fam. I need your thing, like. No, I can't lie, bro. All right, cuz. It's like man's in a mirror, you know. This is books, like. It's bare books, like. It's so <laughs> like. You know what you mean? You mean like man as well. That's bare that's books, fam. <laughs> What's the hardest thing you've gone through as an artist and how did you overcome it? Obviously, the hardest thing for me was definitely man's prison experience, innit? I've never really spoken about it properly. And this is the once and once, once and only time I'm gonna speak about it. It's like, at the time, obviously, let's be real. When I've dropped Home and B, that's revolutionized the game, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's turned the whole jewel scene from the gritty perspective to a whole new light. So yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying, my nigga? Yeah. yeah. Bro. So, from there, I felt like Mo Farrow, bro. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I actually felt like Mo Farrow, when man's leading the race. Yeah. So, at the time, when man's getting the blessings, man's getting all the appreciation, man's making all the networks, so I'm at that level. Yes. I had that leverage over other men that are in man's lane. Yeah. But unfortunately, it's not even like man fell off. Mm -hmm. The system took that from man, bro. So yeah. it's like, where man it was out of man's control, man's yeah. gone into a situation that I know in man's heart that man's actually clean and man's actually trying yeah. to focus on progression and man's not done. Yeah. yeah. Bro, 
for me, that burnt the most, didn't it? If I'm very honest with you. Because mm-hmm. what burnt is that within a space of a year, 365 days, so much can change and so much can happen oh, in the man. real world. Yes, when man's man. behind closed doors, yes. in that box, it's like everything just pours, bro. It's yeah. a mental battle, bro. Yeah. And it's like, yo, man's biggest concern is patterning man's freedom. Yes. Patterning man's life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So all of this rollies and drip and all of this and that, bro, it didn't mean nothing to man, bro. Like, I've got man yeah. thing, like, yeah. when rule I hit the fan, I had to make sure that man's, yeah, at a position where man can wake up, as you say, pray and just keep man's family yeah. good yeah. before anything. Yeah. But then, that for me was the difficulty because it's like coming out, adjusting now because the system, they, they, yeah, they, the like, system can even try and block you after that. But I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Like, you see, when I heard you speaking about obviously you're independent and I rate everything that you do. Yeah. I would love to do that, though. And some yeah. people are different. Everyone's everyone's thing's different. But no. I'm not gonna beat around the bush. My yeah. thing is real. So at the same time, I'm fucking with labels. In order to also protect my name too as well, bro. Like, yes, yes. man have to have that protection legitimately so niggas yeah. know that man's thing's not just hot. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, like, yeah, not just niggas, but jakes and everything, though. Man's thing's not just hot. My thing's actually legitimacy, like, yeah, business. Like, this is a orchestration, a structure, yeah. an empire here. Yeah. So it's like, raw, like, cool. Not only getting everything taken from man and yeah. going into jail and adjusting to prison life, because remember, man's not a rapper no more. Man's a... And prison number A92, this, 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 yeah, that, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Would you write in a lot of bars in there, bro? Just be honest with you, just be honest with you, yeah? At first, no. No. Because remember, I I'm a, yeah, because no, it is, because remember, yeah, I'm adjusting to prison, innit? No. I'm, I'm the rapper. Niggas know how it is for rappers. Rappers have a difficult time in there. No. But for man, I'm grateful that I've actually cut through on a thing where it's either you have a difficult time or you have men around you that are patterned in there, man actually know how to move and make relationships in there so man know, do you get me? Man have no hiccups and no L's. I want pen level first. Yeah. I was in pen level category B at first. But then going to category A put me into a deeper end now. Mm-hmm. So I'll be real bro, I didn't write no bars in category B. But when I went to category A and saw the realness, yo, he tap in, yeah. tap into that pen and paper. Yeah. Yeah. And you don't want to have a real nigga around, man. Like, man, I have man. A lot of them, man. Yeah, like, barring as well. They're man, not barring, man. I'm seeing yeah. it, bro. I've got niggas around, man, 40 years, 30 years rubbing my shoulders. Yeah. So it's like, yo, I cropped it. Niggas know that their thing, they, 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 they ain't got no future, no blessings, but all they have is here. So yeah. rap groups, you see there, like in prison, there was a lot of like rap mm-hmm. battles. Man were in a circle, yeah. rap battling, rap battling. And I'm seeing the authenticity. Like, yeah. these men don't care about the fame. He's yeah. not actually here, because they're, they're actually, hard. yeah, they're, they're hard. hard. The man in prison I've seen Bro, do the music, hardest. Sp- they're the hardest. There's harder like, guys in jail and on the Yeah, 100%. That's Testosterone is yeah. what woke me up. Yeah, 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 Just seeing other people hungry that can't even uh, get this opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Are hungrier than me. Team, yeah. wake up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, raw. Right. Obviously, it was also a blessing as well. We got Digger, because I bucked him as well in prison. Yeah. He's come out, we, we're out now and changed both our lives. Yeah. But seeing him in there, don't get twisted. That brother, I respect my man's thing, because one thing I know, and I've seen these, seen behind closed doors, yeah. regardless of what man think of him online, that brother I know woke up every morning and went in his fucking pen and book. That's to it. not only just write, but plans. That's yeah. when I woke up. Do you know what I'm saying? Little things like that, bro. Because that's man silly. You know what I'm saying? So little things like that made me deep and I just know now. Because the whole wing even says, T, you're here, Digger D's here. The chances of this ever happening is rare. Mm-hmm. Michael and that all supporting our thing, knowing that we have goodness from music. Yeah. You man be the leaders, link up, pattern up, yeah. show the goodness of focus within yeah. here instead of all of this. You know how that gets in jail, bro. It's yeah. a jungle, isn't it? Trust you know what I'm saying, but when man's made a decision to lock in with a bro, fuck the roads, fuck all the roads and all of this gang affiliation and all of this and that, nah, cuz, like, I've locked in on a genuine thing. Forget that, man need to focus. You get me, within that cell room, you get me, there's time to time when me and Digger are writing together or I'm baking off tired, sleeping, he's writing or vice versa, he's sleeping and I'm writing. Yeah. There was a time when I remember he was baking off Boom, boom, he's done, his, he's done his lyrics, we've done shoes together, but time to time, you know what I'm saying, we have our own sleeping pattern. 
Mm-hmm. I just remember one time I made Fresh Home and I woke him up and I told him, yo, yo, listen to this. And he's done the same with Boy. Say yeah, it. Yeah, I've, yeah. It's like, it's crazy, like, how, man, I've actually seen. He with, he with Boy in there as well. He may have had a bit of bars before. I don't know, I don't know, but I have come up for Yeah, he wrote Boy in there, bro. I've experienced, he's like, yo, yo, man, them, like, remember, it's three man bang up in there, innit? Yeah, yeah. And man, I'm like, yo, like, what's man's opinions on this? Use that man, like, what? Uh, uh, nah. what? No. Then I'm, I'm showing yo, what's man's opinion in this? Like, fresh on, fresh on, straight out of the slammer. Bear man, I'm not even fresh uh, home yet. In my head, I'm just planning, I'm planning the victory. Yeah, bro, like, I'm planning that. But it's like, that is growth. So for me, it's like, that for me, bro, if I'm honest to you, if I'm honest to you, in a weird way, testosterone made me want to get back into this team. Yeah. Seeing the niggas in the jail ass writing bars that ain't even going to come out in 30 years and that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm here with an opportunity in my head and I'm here just thinking negatively, uh, man's in this, I can't control the situation I'm in now. It's yeah. done. Man need to now just focus on what man can focus on, what I have in control. Yeah. Like the pen and paper, bro. I'm saying, the premium guys like Digger, who's successful now, big up my man's team, who's added man's batteries to help also as well. Wes, do you get it? Yeah, and little things like that, I've seen reap with other people. They've seen the goodness in man. Man's on badness, but niggas know I don't need to force that. But that's also made me realize, raw man's position, my power, the influence and motivation I have on other people. Yeah. I've started patterning up. Niggas are starting to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Raw, like, just get me raw, t- keep doing your thing. You, man, you, man, you, keep, you man, keep these man's door open so these man can, you know what I'm saying? All these little things, like, yeah. started to gravitate and make sense in it. So, yo, bro, like, that prison experience, oh, man, up. There are niggas that want man's position and would love to get there. And they they would love it. it. Yeah, they, they would love it, bro. In. When I was absent from the game, I yeah. prayed it, bro. Niggas are having fun. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Like, man, no, man make noise, but man's in here now, and niggas are just having a, just the time of their lives. That, for me, was the uh, killer. Yeah, so I, cro- I had to uh, focus, bro.